Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Integrating Technology. It's a Moodle site that I started in 2006, actually. It's been a long time. I changed names a few times, but uh, it's still standing. And Moodle has changed from various versions, from one point, I don't know what it was in those days, one, and now it's 3.10, the latest Moodle for December of 2010. So today I'm going to show you how to add Google Meet to your Moodle site. Okay, this is for admin or anyone else who's interested. It's always nice to learn how things are done. So I'm on the admin page and I'm going to go into plugins so that I can get the plugin from Moodle.org. It's a resource. There are activities and resources on the Moodle. This happens to be a resource. Next, I'm going to go into Install Plugins. There we go. You should get an account on Moodle.org. Going to go into Install. I've got two uh, routes here. I can choose a file if I've already uploaded, or I can install it directly, as I said, from Moodle.org. Here we are, and we're interested in Google, Google Meet, all right, Google Meet. And here we go. There's also Zoom Meet, of course, and Teams Meeting, if you're interested in any of those. Got some videos on them, but for any question relating or unrelated uh, to this particular video, feel free to add it to the comment box below, and I'll be happy to provide you with the information. Notice there are other meetings like WebEx, Open Meetings, and others, plus things that are not related. <laughs> All right, so we're under Moodle 3.10. That's the version that I prefer to add, even though it doesn't always work. But in this case, once I click on the plugin, I'll be able to see whether it's compatible or not. Notice this has been around for a while since it started with 3.7, so this is not new. But whoever developed it, and you can see the developer here, Ron Santosh, or Santos, and uh, this is all free. So it's someone's work, and uh, they should be rewarded in some way. So thank you for that. As I said before, you can download it and then upload it, or you can install it from here. So I'm going to install it directly to my Moodle site. Scroll down until I get to it. Here it is. Install. This is what it'll look like you, if you just have one Moodle account. Moodle site, you'll just have one, not a list. Okay, and then next, uh, depending on your theme, of course, I'm using Edwiser or MUI for this uh, particular Moodle site. It's a paid theme, but it has uh, amazing support and you get so much information that uh, you don't really need anything. Don't worry about the orange spots there. I can fix that, but it doesn't really bother the system, as you can see. So we're adding Google Meet. You can see how the plugin is coming in here. It's an additional plugin, which means that it doesn't come with a Moodle. Then I've got others here that are waiting I'm not going to do it all at once because you never know that sometimes there is incompatibility between the different plugins. One interferes with another and you don't know. So it's a good idea to, you don't know which one is interfering with which one. So it's better to always do them one at a time and then check to make sure that everything's okay. And then once everything's okay, you can go on with the next one because um, trying to trace where the problem lies uh, could take you a long time. All right, so let's see what we need here. We need an API key, and we need a client ID. And for this, you need to do all of this on Google Developers, and there is also information here on how to do that. You can read that, but this is the information that you'll need to get. So I'm going to go into my developer so you can see what it looks like. Actually it's now called a Google Cloud Console. Uh, they keep changing their names but it used to be just Google Developers 
APIs. That's what it looked like. All right, so um, I'm on Safari, so it looks a bit different from... Okay, we're going into integrating technology. Notice I have a lot of uh, Moodle sites that I worked with and work with. There's some past ones that I should delete, I guess. So uh, this is the one. We're going to click on it so we can open it up. So notice um, we're going to open this menu here until we get to integrating technology for all. Click on it. All right, so notice what's here on your dashboard. You've got a library and credentials and this. You need to, first of all, verify your domain, which I've already done. If I go to domain verification, I can see that it was done. Okay, there it is. So you need to do that first before you do anything else. You'll have all the forms for that. Very, very easy. Next, you go into authentication, constant consent screen. Okay, you can see what that looks like with the information there. And you need everything there, including, and they're very, very uh, strict about this. So you need to click on Edit App and add all the information so that they can uh, publish it. It's now in production, so I'm not going to go into that. But I may need to add some new things. I'm going to try it first without and then see if that works. If not, I'll do that. I've already done this with Moodle for Teachers, so I know what to expect. Next, I'm going to go to Credentials. Okay, that's the information that I need, and I do have it. might not be sufficient, but I do have information related to this because I have authentication. You should have two. You should have a key, and you should have a web client for the authentication. So we're going to go into, uh, let's see what we're going to go into. Uh, we need to get the key and I believe the consent. Okay, let's see where we have the two. I think it's here under web. Should be at the top. All right, so it's right here. Notice that's the information. So what I need is um, the client ID. Okay, I need both actually. The client ID authentication client ID, which as I said, I've already done, and the API key for Google Meet. And Google Meet includes Google Drive and Google Calendar. That's what they need. This is the key. Notice why it's orange, because I left out some information, which I could add. And this is it. Uh, you need to go into this one, and then you need to restrict the key. And once you restrict it, you'll get a list of things, and they will include and you'll see this afterwards, uh, Google Calendar, Google, and Google Drive. Okay, so let's um, go back. Google Meet is not there specifically. So we're going to go back now to uh, this one, and we're going to add the key. I have already have it on my mouse. And then um, we're going to save it. It's not going to say that there's an error here, but it will save when I try to generate a link, a room link. All right, so let's go into a course. Let's go into a recent one. Okay, we're going to go into this one and um, turn editing on. Oh, it's on already. So we're just going to go into the uh, add an activity or resource. Um, okay, so click on that. And it should be there already. It's under resources, as I mentioned before. It's not considered an activity. And um, so if I go, I see it right here. But if I go into resource, you'll definitely see it. But you can open all and just look for it. Under alphabetical order, it's after F, right? Because it starts with a G. So here I get the error. Okay, this error means that you need to do some work and that um, YouTube has, not YouTube, sorry, Google has to um, approve it, which is quite easy, it takes a few hours, shouldn't take long. Uh, they're quite fast, even over the weekend, which is quite nice. Okay, so let me show you how it's done to make your life easier. So here we are. We need to, first of all, add this HTT. Okay, so we're going to make it let me show you again where we have to go 
So we're going to change it to this, and then we're going to restrict the key. And you'll see that it turns green. So first of all, let's turn it here. Okay, if left bank here. Okay, so now we're going to add restrict key. Okay, so um, all right. So now under this one, we're going to, first of all, we have to enable everything. So you do that in the library, but I have already enabled everything, so I don't have to show you that. But you need to enable, just for your own information, Google Drive, the calendar. You might want to do, I just do everything, and then over here. Okay, you don't need the analytics, but you might want to do it. All right, so let's go back to our... Um, dashboard and into authentication consent screen this is where we get our key ready okay so let's go back here and uh, click on the edit I'm just doing it from another area but it's it takes me to the same place it's dealing with the key so um, okay you need to have this information here you don't need a logo but you need you do need to have a privacy policy link and and they do check this so take care of it okay so i do have it i've got a privacy policy that i created on the moodle it's just a page but it has a link that can be viewed by anyone you just need to have to be a guest anyone can see it. it's open to the public uh, which is what you need to do so i'm going to add that one to um Okay, uh, over here under privacy, okay, I just added org, you know, um, because they don't check. Okay, so they didn't check for the authentication, but they will check for this. I know that much. Okay, and next, so that's the privacy. I'm going to go to terms of, and conditions. Okay, the link I take from the browser window, you know that you're the admin. So you should know that. But anyone else listening, every link on the Moodle, every page, uh, you can share by going into the browser window, and you'll find it there. So let me go back here and add um, the terms and conditions. There it is. Okay, so I've got both. And, um, okay, it's almost ready. I'm going to save and continue, even though it's not ready yet. Um, I need to, what do they want here? Consent screen. There are a few other things. Oh, my email address. Okay, that's not a big deal. But I wanted to fix the key before I do anything because the key's not ready. Okay, save and continue. But as I said, I need to... Okay, so I'm almost there. Um, before I do that, let me go back to the key because that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to go back to uh, the key here that I haven't fixed yet. You should do the key first. Okay, so this is edit the key. Remember, I said that there was a problem with it. Well, you can still see it as orange. Okay, let's click on that. And um, okay, so here we are. Restrict the key. And we're going to add the APIs here. So um, I'm going to add Google Drive. These are important google drive well you could do the others as well you know it might as well gmail you know do all of these oh i don't have um that's interesting i just noticed that's a good thing i checked oh there's the calendar okay i've got everything i've got the calendar because what i need is um i don't need this the calendar and google drive okay so they're there excellent Okay, so I've got four. I don't know, in the other one I have six. Okay, and then I'm going to save this. Notice now it's going to turn green. There we go. The key is going to be green, which looks much better, right? Now it's green. It's there. Okay, that makes you feel better, right? Okay, and now we're going to go back to authenticating the screen. So let's do that. I hope everything's still there. I did save it. Didn't go to the final stage. So now we're going to do that. Okay, so let's see what we've got and where we need to go. Okay, so um, I don't need a logo. Okay, I've got my... Okay, everything was saved. Authorized domains. Okay, everything is good. All right, now I can save and continue. Oh, no, there's more here. Sorry, I forgot about that. 
add or remove scopes. Yes. Interesting, they didn't. Okay, add and remove scopes. Right, this step is important. We can't go on without it. You need to take care of the scopes. All right, so this is um, what you do. Okay, we're looking for um, the scopes are... Okay, we're interested in um, none of these. Okay, in the calendar, okay, Google Calendar, API, but it's this one. Okay, there are a few Google Calendar. Notice we're looking for Auth Calendar, and um, we're looking for Drive. So Drive comes after, and Drive is lots of calendars here, right? But that's the one. Okay, I'm just checking my memory here. Okay, and then let's see what else is here. Now we need the drive. Now for the drive, let me try to remember. I think it's this one, but I may be wrong. Off drive, I think it's this one. But I'm going to check to make sure, and you're asking yourself, where is she is she going to? Check. Verification required. Continue. Okay, that means that Google needs to verify this. How will the scopes be used? Now, you need to explain. You need to create a video, which I have already. I don't have to create another one. How will the scopes be used? Um, Google Meet on Moodle on a Moodle. Now we need to add a YouTube video, which I already have. All right, so I'm going to add that one. Okay, I created a YouTube video. I thought I wouldn't have to create another one, so I'm, I, I changed it to scheduled. I'm going to save to publish and not private, but public, so it's back on the public. So everyone, including YouTube, will be able to see it. So let me get the, uh, let me save it get the link and I'm going to add the link to um, this API. Okay, there it is. You can also watch the video. I'll share it here too so you can see what it sounds like before I delete it. Okay, so now add and save. Now here, this is all optional information, so I'm not going to add it. I'm just going to save and continue and there it's done. Okay, so this is all my work. And now it's going to go into prepare. You're not finished yet, so make sure that you fill this. I mean, click on this as well. So this is prepare for verification. They're, okay, that's their job to approve this verification. And that's it. Okay, hopefully it'll go through. And then, I mean, they may want a, a logo, but I don't think so. And that's it. Um, it should work. I have a video on how it works, and I'll show you that in the uh, comment box below. So that's it. If you have any questions, I'm sure you do. Feel free to ask them in the um, comment box below just to show you what we were doing. We were on this particular Moodle site. So let's go back to it. This is a site called Integrating Technology, and you're invited to join some of the courses, especially an admin course. There's an admin course that you might want to join. I'll put that as a link to the website to learn how to be an admin, how to install Moodle and so on, on a server. I'll be happy to help you um, work as the admin of your very own Moodle. So let me know if you're interested in that. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Thank you.